I've got a couple of uh, quick side projects, mostly for my helpers here. Um, this is a fish locker lid off of a Baja. I'm not sure what size it is. I forget. I'd have to ask the customer. Um, anyway, it's got a it's a hatch with a balsa core. Um, you can see it down in there. Well, anyway, up here in the corner, it got rotten. It had a big, big, huge soft spot here. Well, he already cut cut the outer skin and uh, dug all that out and. Uh, he uh, asked me if I could get that repaired for him, and I told him, "Yeah, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and dig, dig the rest of this out, so that we got a nice, even patch area." But uh, I've got some balsa of the same thickness, and we'll go ahead and lay that in and put a nice patch in it for him. But uh, I mean, that's kind of why balsa is great for this because of the squares; it didn't travel very quickly and I'll show you why with the other hatch why balsa is better than in than using plywood in something like this like a using a plywood sheet where this is end grain balsa and you see where the lines are in here each of those lines was like where the resin was so <clears throat> Basically, once an area rotted, it this these little lines of resin slowed down the rot. Basically, it's still rotted, but it took a lot longer than it would have if it was just one sheet of plywood across here. Now, let me show you the hatch off of a, I believe, a newer boat. Okay. He's already stripped off most of the rotten stuff. This is an engine hatch off of a Checkmate 253 condenser. Okay, and I don't know who had the bright idea of using a sheet of plywood to bond to the un underside of this hatch, but uh, it's not real thick. It's only like a quarter inch thick of plywood, but they bonded that down on it. They just basically clamped her down on there and put a bunch of weights on it until the resin held it down but all everywhere where there was a hole basically started rot and this all basically he's already got the rotten part off this is the stuff that didn't rot and we've got to go in now and grind that off and you can still see where it's a little bit rotten up there a little bit rotten up there and uh, up here where the hinges were that's kind of where it was rotten. I don't even think it was really, I mean, it's supposed to be marine grade plywood, but I'm not even sure if it was. I don't know what was going on that year at Checkmate, even though I worked there. I don't know what their materials were. I don't know why, even why they chose to use plywood for these. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in with balsa on this. It's, it's not a real thick layer of balsa. It's thinner than the other one because you're not walking on this. And there's actually another, there's a layer. Basically, it's like a double layer hatch. There's gonna be another layer of stuff with upholstery on it that's bolted to this. So, yeah, we're gonna get this, uh, all this stuff ground off. See, it's like a whole layer of plywood, and then it's got 1708 on it, which you can see even in that hole down there where you can see some rot around that hole where water's gotten through it. And even then, if we don't seal up the holes when he puts the holes in it, the pulse is probably around each hole you know, if he doesn't put anything in it, it'll, it'll rot in that area again like that, but it won't travel so fast through all the rest of it. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, a real quick project for everybody. We should have it up by the weekend. And, and uh, yeah, I'll give you some video of her laying it up. And uh, hopefully, unless she does it while I'm gone. Anyway. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll try to get some video of this to show you what's going on.